Hey guys, today we are in Namba Station, walking toward to Osaka Station. It's almost the year end, so there are fewer travelers, but there will be more and more local people in the street. It's the Takarakuji, the year end lovely. Seems like many people are trying to be a millionaire. Here we go, this is the new square of Namba Station. After they finished construction, it became really spacey and nicer. It was the street that car can use it, but now it became a pedestrian zone. This big street called Midosuji, they are planning to expand that pedestrian zone until here. So it will be much spacier place to walk. Yep, Osaka town will totally change in the near future too. By the way, it's really cold today. It's December 22nd, Friday. 5 degrees. However, the wind is 9 meter per second, so it feels much cooler. It's a super windy day. I made many videos walking from Shin Imamiya to Namba Station. However, I never made the edited video of walking from Namba Station to Osaka Station. We are going there through Dotomori, Shinsaibashi, Yodoyabashi, and many places. Hope you enjoy that. There should be the big Christmas tree and the Christmas market in Osaka Station, so let's check that too. Firstly, we are walking toward to Shinsaibashi to Dotonbori. If you want to head to the Dotonbori, use this Ebisubashi Suji Street. Let's keep walking. Because of much less wind here, feels much warmer. <laughs> it's Hokkyuk Cafe. It's North Polar Cafe. They usually sell ice cream, however, they also sell the hot pancakes too, yeah. Otherwise, they can't make money. Here, small Japanese lesson. North Pole in Japanese called Hokkyoku. Hokkyoku. Today, seems like much less line at the Rick Rose Cheesecake Store. Probably will be longer though. Oh, interesting. Now, there are longer lines for the 551 Horai. Yeah, maybe because there are more Asian travelers from China and Korea. So that's why 551 Horai will be popular for them. Now, we are getting closer to Dotonbori food street. Yep, there are more and more people in the street. We are at Dotonbori. Ebisubashi Bridge over there. We are walking straight toward to Shinsaibashi, but beforehand, let's check Dotonbori Food Street's atmosphere first. This Osaka 2025 Ekisuko sculpture, it became a signature iconic spot for Dotonbori Food Street. First time when I see this sculpture, I feel like so far, but we only have one year and a half. Well, there are still so many problems, but hopefully it goes well. <laughs> Sweet, it's always great meeting with you guys. Are you guys ready? Go. <laughs> Loving it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Loving it. If you see me on the street, don't forget to go to me so that I can realize you are the viewer. See you in Japan. It's 3 p.m. right now, so it's not the lunch time, neither the dinner time. So maybe that's why. There are much fewer people in Dotonbori Food Street. I thought this place would be more crowded though. Let's see in Osaka Station. By the way, still, I'm super happy. Finally, they got the trash can here. By the way, oh my goodness, look at the sky. What a beautiful day. Loving it. We can see the moon clearly too. Winter's blue sky? Bluer. Many people are enjoying taking photo in front of the Greco running man. Sweet! Let's keep walking toward to Shinsaibashi station. I'm wondering until where this crowd continues. After Shinsaibashi station, it'll be better though. Oh, here! There is a big Daiso. Let's go check what kind of Christmas thing we can get it with 100 Japanese yen. Let's see. This Daiso, they have three floors. Yeah, it's a huge Daiso. Oh my goodness, look at this wood plate. So cute. 
They have the Disney version as well. Seems like this place is for the wrapping. <laughs> and so many Santa Claus hat. <laughs> Remember, I use it for the Halloween. They also have reindeer's cosplay for kids as well. Price costs 300 Japanese yen though. And you know what? It's almost already the Christmas. They are already ready for the new year. Those are the new year stuff here. It's traditional shogatsu, new year's decor. Called shimenawa, shimenawa. Also, they have bamboo as well. I guess seems like already that's it. They have more stuffs for New Year's though. New Year is more popular compared to Christmas in Japan, so understandable. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this! It's a small tatami. <laughs> if you love Japanese cheap sweets, there are so many cheap sweets here. Also, so many different kinds of candy too. Sweet. All right, so let's keep walking. And the first floor, it's the drugstore. Before heading to Shinsaibashi, let's go to check American Village, which is Amemura. You just need to turn left on this Pablo Street. Seems like there is a long line in front of Pablo store. You will find the Apple store in front of you. After passing it, the American Village is already there. Can you believe that this street will be closed down and becomes pedestrian zone? Yep. <laughs> I'm wondering how it looks like. Excited to see the new Osaka town. In American Village, there is a famous park, Sanka Koen. Direct translation is the Triangle Park. <laughs> It's the popular place to take a rest, but since it's super windy and cold, I'm wondering how many people would be there. Let's see. Pretty much all the department store having Christmas decor. Sweet. Big step, having a 30th year anniversary. So they have more decors for Christmas. Look at this pine tree, got snow, and it becomes a Christmas cake. <laughs> Sweet. Triangle Park is almost there. Yeah, that's the place. Yep, much fewer people. As I expected. Usually, many people are sitting down and taking rest here, though, especially on Friday. But today, understandable. In such a cold day, I believe Takoyaki store can sell well. Let's go back to the main street. It's the second-hand clothes shop, starting from 380 Japanese yen. Really? It's pretty cheap. This Amemura is popular for second-hand clothes shop in Japanese called Furugi. Furugi. So many students who don't have much money but want to be fashionable coming over here to find the Furugi. Furugi. Yeah, seems like this place also sells the second-hand clothes too. Oh wait, maybe they don't close down the street. The pedestrian zone becomes much wider. I believe that's what they means. Now we came back to the arcade. Shinsaibashi Station's entrance is over there. But still, we are heading to north. So, let's go. Oh, that's Pariko building. In the basement floor, they have the nice restaurant street. Let's go check there. Oh, it's my first time to visit here. In the basement floor, they have the newer restaurant floor. They have lunch until 4 p.m. They have so many different kinds of sushi too. Look at this shrimp, ikura, and also egg with the shiso leaves. This seafood bowl looks pretty good. What else we have? Seems like that's a sushi place. They have so many different kinds of sushi. And what is this? Seems like it's the Taishok place. Restaurant street still continues. Wow. It's Kushikatsu. 
And it seems like this is the Chinese restaurant. Roast beef with garlic rice. Sounds good. All right, I'm starving, so let's eat here. Oh, they have the weekday happy hour menu as well. Until 6 p.m., 990 Japanese yen. You can get two drinks and also two something small tapas. I'm not sure what it is, but you can get some two small dishes. So I believe this place is basically for drinking place but they have the food menu item as well. I'm still thinking, should I get the roast beef with garlic rice? This one sounds good. Or maybe Hamburg steak curry. Either one could be good. Hmm, which one should I get? <laughs> so eventually, I ordered a roast beef and a garlic rice. You know, I couldn't decide which one it is. But, uh, you know, I asked the waitress, which one would you recommend? And uh, she told me that this roast beef and a garlic would be better. So I ordered this with the extra meal. <laughs> well, also she told me that it's kind of small, but uh, not sure. Really excited. Let's add us. Add us. <laughs> All right, sweet, here we go. Wow, yeah. I don't know, the plate is big or the rice is small, or maybe meat is a lot. Eh? You know, I ordered the extra meat, so maybe meat is a lot. Eh? But anyways, let's eat it. Smells really good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I like the combination with tender meat and the garlic chips. Mm. Mm -hmm. How about the rice? Hello, Kimos. Mm. The garlic smell is not that strong, nice butter flavor. Loving it. This roast beef had the stronger garlic flavor, but this butter rice doesn't have a much stronger taste of the garlic. So, nice matches. Mm. You know what? It's so tempting. I feel like that I want to drink wine now. I don't know. Do they have wine? Let me see. Yeah, of course they do. So they have so many different kinds of red wine and white wines, but I have no idea, you know, which wine it is good. <laughs> mm. The cheapest one is starting from 330 Japanese yen, and uh, the expensive one is 770 Japanese yen. Let me see. Oh, berry no karisumi ni spicy de fukuzatsu na fumi. That sounds interesting. This one over here. Price is 550 Japanese yen. Well, the name is hidden part. I like the name too. Let's do it. <laughs> yep, yeah, it was too tempting. And the hidden part arrives. I'm super happy. So, kapai. <laughs> Oh, it's light and dry but fruity. It's super easy to drink. I like it. Psycho. You know, after this, we are heading to the Osaka station, right? And there is a Christmas market. Probably in the Christmas market, there are so many people, so it's super hard to eat. And this garlic rice would be much more expensive compared to this place. That's Christmas market magic, right? <laughs> it always happens. Yeah, so I think I made a good decision. Mm. You know, when I was a kid, I have a two brothers. So before going to the Disneyland, my mom was like, went to the company and tried to eat the onigiri rice bowl before entering the Disneyland because over there, everything is expensive. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know how many percent of people doing it. I had no complaint about the convenient rice bowl, but yeah, we're in Disneyland. I want to eat something Disney. <laughs> well, now it became a good memory, though. Hmm. <sighs> you know, the last time when I ate the roast beef, it was Hiroshima. And uh, in the next day, I think because it's raw, I got that kind of a strong stomachache and I couldn't eat the Hiroshima Okonomiyaki. Tomorrow is the ending day, so should be fine. But hopefully, I don't get the stomachache though. But I love roast beef. 
Ooh, that was pretty good. Uh, the price was 2,500 Japanese yen. Thinking about the quality, I love it. All right, now let's keep walking toward to Osaka Station. Oh, that's Miki Gaki. Sometimes they play the electron over there. I used to visit there when I was a student to buy the piano piece. So natsukashi. And that's Osaka version's unique Uniqlo. Yep, it's kind of noisy, right? Yep, and that's the Japanese people's image of Osaka. <laughs> Toward to Osaka Station, we can just keep straight. Seems like sky color is changing. Still, 4.30 though. I usually don't come until here, so I didn't know that uh, they have a huge display here too. Sweet. Compared to the shops near Dotonbori, this area's atmosphere, it's more like local arcade. Oh, that's book off. If you are looking for the second-hand book or manga, anime, yeah, you can find it here. It's a popular chain store in Japan, so pretty much you can find it everywhere. <laughs> All right, sweet. It's always great meeting with you guys. Are you guys ready? Yes. Soon. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it. See you in Japan. Here is another Daiso shop. This Daiso have only two floors, but. Uh, it's wider. Yep, still arcade continues. It's a long arcade. However, this area, yep, compared to the Dotonbori area, much quiet. Oh, wait, maybe Kitamido there. Let's go check. Oh, the tree already start lighted up. Sweet. Oh, never mind, it's Namba Shrine. By the way, next year's zodiac is dragon. Dragon in Japanese is tats, tats. You can say dew, dew. Dew is more popular way to say that, but uh, tats is a zodiac name of dragon. They are already ready for the new year. Yep, the dragon here. Now let's go back to the arcade. Oh, interesting. That's the bakery vending machine. Price is about 200 Japanese yen. They have sandwich and a chili dog. Even pizza too. Plus, the chocolate chip melon pan. It's my favorite. Sweet. Around here, the shops become more like, you know, local shotengai. The arcade shops. Now we are at home much area. This area called Semba. Inside the building, there are super classic stores from long, long, long time ago. Here, as you can see, it is totally different atmosphere compared to Dotonbori. So if you want to see something different, you can come over here. December area. Definitely, it's not for young adult, but uh, you can see the interesting atmosphere. This building is number nine, and it goes to number eight. It continues, continues, continues. <laughs> to be honest, I never shopped here, but uh, I knew the area. Yeah. Haven't visited here for a while. I think it gets cleaner. We are at number eight. It continues to until number one. So it's a long street. If you're interested in, you can come visit here. It's Hommachi Station. Also, the Sakai Suji Hommachi area. Oh, let's go back to the arcade. Can you believe that? It still continues until there, though. <laughs> Here we go, this is the end of the arcade. We are already two stations away from Namba Station, but if you keep straight this arcade, you can arrive to the Namba Station. Uh, look at this hotel. That's a cute Christmas decor. I think Kitamido is almost there. Let's go back to the Midosuji Street, which is the next street of the arcade. Yep, 
we came back to the Midosuji street. It's a huge one-way street, really popular street in Osaka. Kitamido, there is a big temple with light up. They used to have the projection mapping, but uh, I'm not sure if they do it now or not. I used to visit there and made a video about four years ago, which is before the pandemic. Yeah. Until then, I haven't visited there. Let's see if they still have the projection mapping or not. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, seems like it's closed. Oh, I see. The bell is over there. Yeah, I was hearing the bell sound, but uh, yeah, it was just over there, so it really makes me surprised. I was like, oh. <laughs> interesting. Anyway, so let's keep walking toward to Osaka Station. Oh, seems like they have the countdown event here. Interesting. They will have the Taiko performance. After passing the Kitamido, we are almost at Yodoyabashi Station. Now we are in Yodoyabashi area. As you can see, there are so many office buildings. Yes, all of them are office buildings. Many people work here, and after they finish working, they were like, you know, let's go drinking. Are you going to north or south? Yeah, that's why we call that north part Osaka Station called Kita, and the south part of Namba Station called Minami. Yeah, so this is kind of like center of Osaka area. Nowadays, there are many changes, but still, we call Osaka area Kita, and the number area, Minami. Yeah. Uh, that's artistic. Nice. <laughs> it's getting cooler. Right now, it's only 3 degrees and it's super windy as well. If I wear the hoodie, it's much warmer. However, I know it looks a little bit weird. So <laughs> I don't like to wear this hoodie much, but it's cold. <laughs> I use the heat pack though. I want to go back to Tokyo because I didn't bring the heavy jacket to Osaka. So after going back to Tokyo, I can wear the heavier jacket. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep walking. That's the entrance of Yodoyabashi Station. Osaka Station is the next station. By the way, Hashi means bridge and this bridge called Yodoyabashi. You see that tall building in front of you? Yeah, that's already Osaka Station. Oh, now they have the Christmas lights up in Yodoyabashi. They have the projection mapping too. Let's go to check. Right on time, huh? Seems like they have so many only nations here. Let's check one by one. Oh my goodness, that's so impressive. Sweet. Oh my goodness, seems like so many people there. I'm wondering if we can go there. Ah, oh, it's the Christmas market, huh? Wait, I believe there is a project marking over there. Let's go! It's almost 13. Sweet! Love it! There are so many food stalls here. Oh, look at that! That's a Christmas tree! Beautiful! What else we have? <laughs> look at that! Oden and Tonkotsu ramen. <laughs> Doesn't look like a Christmas market store. This is the rose garden. In the season, there are many beautiful roses. <laughs> there are small mushroom right up. <laughs> Interesting. 
That's a huge snowman. Snowman in Japanese called Yuki Daruma. Yuki Daruma. And I guess this is the dead end. Well, we almost walk one station away. Our final destination is Umeda Station. So we have to go back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep walking. All right, finally, we came back to the Midosuji Street. Yes, remember? That's the one way street. And Osaka Station is this way. Let's keep walking. Seems like many people finish working and going back home. Before arriving to Osaka Station, this is Kitashinchi, one of the biggest drinking places, like Ginza. Do you see the small advertisement? Those small names, each of them, all of them are the small drinking bar. Yeah, there are so many drinking places over here. One of the most fancy drinking places in Osaka. There are many drinking places in Namba Station, but the Kitashinchi more fancier. So, you know, it's like Shinjuku and Ginza. <laughs> well, it's generally talking, but I've never explored neither of them. So if it's a wrong info, don't judge me. But usually, you know, local people say, you know, that Namba is more easier and Kitashinchi more fancier. Yeah. According to local. I was born and raised in Osaka. Am I right? How do you think? If someone knows about Kitashinchi and the Namba, please let me know in the comment. Anyways, uh, let's keep walking. Here is the map. Yes, we are almost there. We are over here. The illumination place was over here. Namba station was around here. And Osaka station over there. So yes, almost. Let's keep walking. <laughs> Finally, we are inside the station. Yeah, inside the station, much warmer. And my hair became totally flat, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's keep walking. Am I lost? I usually don't walk from Namba Station to Osaka Station. I usually use the train. So I'm wondering. Ah, oh, here, the JR Osaka Station. This is the way, 540 meters. Not bad. Underground street, much warmer, so much comfy to walk. Oh, look at that. Here's Christmas decor too. Yep, a Christmas tree everywhere in Japan. By the way, JR Osaka Station, Subway Osaka Station, Hankyu Osaka Station, Hanshin Osaka Station, and Yotsubashi Nishi Umeda Station. Yep, all of them are the train station we have over there. Yep, Osaka Station is amazing, as bad as Shinjuku Station. So if you're visiting Osaka Station and try to transfer a train, you gotta be ready for that. Yeah. So firstly, Hanshin Densha, Osaka Umeda Station, comes over here. If you want to go to the Yotsubashi line, this is the way. And if you want to go to the Midosuji line, this is the way. But if you want to go to the JR line, this is the way. It's the Depachika basement department store's food area. Since it's Friday, it's super crowded. That's a Rick Road cheesecake. Oh my goodness, so long line. Friday night Osaka station rush hour time. Probably that's the worst time you want to visit here. So many salary months going back home. This is the entrance of JR Osaka Station, but we are heading to the different exit. It's just upstairs. Yes, this is the place. It's the iconic square of Osaka Station. Yes, finally we arrived to Osaka Station. And here is the Osaka Station sign. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Uh, every year, the Christmas season, they have this ice skate link over there. <laughs> Seems like many people having fun over there. And the green bear wearing the Christmas costume with his friend. You see the building in front of you, that sky building and the Christmas market is under that building. So we are walking there. Let's walk there through Grand Front. 
<laughs> Probably the Christmas market will be super, super, super crowded. More than that Yodoyabashi Christmas market. So we just go there and check the atmosphere and then we come back. Hopefully it's not that crowded. Because of the construction, we need to detour and uh, we need to walk long. They are building the huge new area in Osaka Station. It will be the game changer. I'm really looking forward to it. I will let you guys know when they finish the construction. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Oh, you know what? This street totally changes. I think because construction gets progress. Yeah. It's much cleaner. There is an observatory. I haven't visited that sky garden for a while. So that's why. I didn't know that. Before, we had to go to the underground. But seems like now, we can go from the ground floor. Much convenient. And they have the bicycle lane too. <laughs> Sweet. Here we go, we already arrived. Oh wait, compared to last year or several years ago, the Christmas market becomes much smaller. I remember there are many Christmas stalls all the way down and a small ride as well. But seems like we don't have it here. This Sky Garden's Christmas tree, we can enter. How is it? Oh, yeah, probably still we can. <laughs> Sweet. Well, it's much fewer people than I thought. Maybe they decide to make the smaller Christmas market since we have the Christmas market in Yodoyabashi. Still, there are so many people waiting in front of the store, you know? And it seems like this Christmas tree, no entrance. So we can't enter the Christmas tree. I was looking for a bigger Christmas market in the Sky Garden. But the Yodoyawashi one was much bigger. So if you are looking for the Christmas market in Osaka, definitely I recommend the Yodoyawashi one. In this Sky Garden basement floor, there's a retro food street. Let's go check if they change it or not. Seems like this area hasn't changed. The retro Japan town got the Christmas. Wow. <laughs> no one here, huh? Probably not that many people know there's a retro food street. If you love retro atmosphere of Japan, don't forget to visit here if you are visiting the Sky Garden. There is a small studio here too. <laughs> Maybe I can make retro cooking show video from here. <laughs> nice. There is a cat too, but it uh, looks kind of scary though. Also, in the sky garden, there is a small garden here too. In the summertime, we can see the firefly here. It becomes really beautiful and peaceful. Well, <laughs> in the nighttime garden walk, kind of scary though. <laughs> Very cool atmosphere. Now let's go back to the Osaka station. I want to check the progress of the Osaka station's construction. Let's keep walking. You see the building in front of you. Yes, we are heading there. In Japan, most of the places You'd better walk left side, but seems like this place, we need to walk right side. But seems like many Japanese people already got used to walking left side, so no one is following walking right side. I'm wondering why right side here though. Finally, we came back to Osaka station. Yes, that's the Osaka's signature 
station's place and also here it's the ice skate link let's go to the sky garden the entrance is just over there <laughs> it's pretty cold outside <laughs> i need a hot coffee oh we have the starbucks seems like they have the new melted white pistachio mocha that sounds good eh? let's order it yep <laughs> Hi, Adalas. <laughs> well, I don't usually use the Starbucks, so it says daily offering. So I'm not sure if it's a limited one or not. But uh, you know, that sounds good, so it's okay. Come on. Psycho. A nice pistachio flavor with white chocolate plus coffee. Yeah. Perfect. Ah, feels much warmer. All right, now we got that more energy. Let's keep walking. Oh, they are explaining that uh, they stopped the operation due to the heavy snow. Yesterday, even in Osaka too, it was snowing. So yeah, no wonder. Around the Japan Sea area, snowing so heavily. Wow, sweet! This Toki no Hiroba having the Christmas light too. Yep, pretty much everywhere <laughs> having the Christmas lights. Loving it. Let's go in now. Oh, that's Hip Five's Ferris wheel. Beautiful. Let's go upstairs. More. Because we are in the higher place. Stronger wind. Let's go up. Yep, <laughs> this place too. I think because too cold and windy. Even it's Friday night. Not that many people here, huh? This place is the one with the best place to take a rest, though. But in the winter time, maybe not. Oh, now seems like there are more buildings over there. The last time when we visit here. There were no building, so yeah, we see the progress, which is pretty good. Oh really? It's not closing. I thought it's closing. Maybe we can see better view. Let's see. Yep, here we can see much better. Yes, seems like construction is working well. I really look forward to that new Osaka Station's area. By the way, it's really peaceful area. I love it. Oh, oh my goodness, it's freezing here. You know, before, about two weeks ago, it was 20 degrees. And I was complaining, you know, even it's December, it's not cold at all. Winter should be cooler, but now, you know, I'm like, it's too cold, eh? I think one more time is better. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, that's right. We need to appreciate what we have now. Yes, that's a good recipe. So, kapai and ho ho ho. Anyways, hope everyone enjoying having a virtual tour of Osaka and hopefully this video will help for your next Japan trip. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button if you really encourage me to keep shooting videos. And in the next video, we are heading back to Tokyo. Yes, we will be a countdown live and the New Year's Eve and the New Year's Day. Wait, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The New Year's Eve night. <laughs> Maybe in Shibuya, Shinjuku, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but we will have the countdown live. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you will not miss my new video in the surprise live stream. Also, big thank you to all of my Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account as well. Alright, so see you in the next video. See you ciao. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>
It is freezing, but a perfect time for the hot coffee. Ah, recently in Japan, there is a trend of flu. Yeah, every year this season, January and February, the flu season is coming. So if you are visiting Japan, please be careful. This year, I haven't got the invitation shot for the flu, but uh, I'm thinking if I should get one or not. You know, I always go to the crowd, so probably I'd better get the shot. Yeah. Oh my goodness, can you believe that? We only have one more week to go for this year. Yep, time flies, flies, flies. <laughs> Never mind. See you soon.